Helen Mitchell. I'm the social worker at the Martin Center Sickle Cell Initiative. Um, I'm an advocate for people in need, especially those who are suffering with sickle cell disease. Uh, I have a passion for those who tend to struggle, and I feel like I'm a voice for those who cannot be a voice for themselves. The Martin Center is, is definitely a pioneer, and uh, that's not to say that nobody else is doing anything worthwhile, but I think that the Martin Center is definitely one who needs to be recognized for the work that they're doing. It touched my heart. And so then an interview was set up, and then after that, there was no need for me to be convinced at all. I wanted to work here, and I even told Gary during the interview that if I didn't get hired, I wanted to volunteer. Hmm. Courtney Stinnett. I just, you know, I always like to say that um, I have sickle cell. The sickle cell doesn't have me. But uh, since I've been back, coming back to the Martin Center, and I see all that they do, the food pantry, the transportation, the, um, the support group things, the advocacy day, that was oh, um, good. the, the I, I really enjoyed that. And the telethon that they had, I want that. I, I hope we can do another one real soon. My name is Kanitha Magruder. I had a real bad crisis uh, in college while I attended IUPUI. And I got really sick and uh, someone um, gave me the hematologist name of uh, Asmar, which in turn led me um, to meeting the amazing people here at the Martin Center. And once meeting them, um, it was like a whole new world opened up for me. Um, they showed me that there is support when you think you don't have support. My family is approximately three hours away. And with that being said, I did feel alone. I felt like I didn't have the support that I needed. Um, and I really didn't have the resources either to not only treat, but to also maintain a healthy balance with my uh, sickle cell. So it was a struggle. And coming to the Martin Center, again, I met so many other amazing people just like me. If you've ever been sick or ever even simply had a doctor's visit for whatever reason, you know that medically it's expensive. And so a lot of times it can be very discouraging to go to your <coughs> provider, whether they are an amazing provider or not. It's very discouraging to go when you know that next week, I'm going to get a $2,000 bill in the mail. We have to determine to make these moments right our defining moments so for something like the Martin Center to be celebrating a 50th anniversary whereas some people would think or you can talk to just common people regular what is SC I never heard of it but for a place to thrive and exist like this for 50 years that define us that defines all the warriors past and present, here and deceased. We are all that and more. At first, uh, when I went to college the first time for my bachelor's degree, I had a lot of problems with my disease and they were unexpected problems and I didn't have a lot of problems growing up. And during my bachelor's degree, I was trying to really hard to finish, finish, finish. And so I was taking a lot of classes, overloading myself with work. And then I'd end up in the hospital uh, repeatedly. And so when I finished, I finished because my I promised my parents I would, so I did. <laughs> Sometimes you need that little encouragement. Um, uh, I would definitely say to help people with sickle cell disease, um, provide support. As the Martin Center provides support, it's important for people to really have a good support system around them and a community around them to hold them up during those times when they're in pain, during those times when, they're, when they have fatigue. Um, I had a great family growing up. I have a great family now, my husband and my daughter, and just people around me, uh, people in Indianapolis now that I don't have family in Indianapolis that have adopted me and take care of me, providing meals, uh, providing rides, Small things like that may not seem like a big deal to you, but they're a big deal to us. I was introduced to the Martin Center by a fellow co-worker approximately 
five, well, four or five years ago. Without the Martin Center and its advocacy to try to educate healthcare providers, families, and others within the community, we wouldn't have the level of advances that have been made, at least locally. So we're asking that all here today consider giving up their time, their talent, and their resources, their treasures, in order to help us advance or continue to advance the mission.